everybody. Welcome to Potato Strong. It's Bonnie here. Today I'm just going to follow up on the Thanksgiving dinner that we weren't able to finish last time. So I've got all my ingredients out and we're ready to go. But I just wanted to say I had to make a little extra effort today to get Will out of the kitchen. It was, um, you know, a little cruel, I have to admit, but he's got this problem. He likes to backseat cook and hover over me when I'm in the kitchen. And I really just need this kitchen to myself. So it might be a little cruel, but might want to check it out. I feel a little bit bad. So the first dish we're going to make today is our uh, potato stuffing with summer savory. And I just want to stress it is summer savory. Um, this, this product we have here comes from Nova Scotia right next door to us and uh, it is a herb we grow here. You can get it probably online. It is summer savory. Please don't try to replace it with sage or another herb because it really has to be the summer savory that's a key ingredient. So to start out I boiled eight um, white potatoes. I normally use yellow potatoes but I didn't have any yellow potatoes so I boiled eight uh, white potatoes and cubed them. So this, the ingredients are pretty simple. I'll add in a half chopped green pepper, one whole large onion chopped, I'll usually add in about a third of a cup of summer savory. And you do have to get your hands dirty for this dish, so bear with me. I'll actually start to blend and mash together all the ingredients until they're all kind of consistently blended together. And we'll get a nice dark sort of herby looking dish when you do this. summer savory because I like it really strong. Some people uh, don't, but I'll add in a little bit because I actually like the flavor just really mild. I'll also put in a bit of seasoning salt. I usually add about a teaspoon. I usually do it by eye. I've been doing this uh, dish for so long. It's, it's sort of a historic dish here. And then I'll add in some bread foods. And those are just two pieces of toasted bread, whole grain bread, that I've cut into cubes, about one inch cubes, and I'll start to blend it in. When I'm done, you'll get a nice, uh, Mount. It'll it'll look like this when it's raw. You can taste it to see if you like it. If you have enough salt or anything, there's no eggs or meat in this dish, so it's really easy for you to taste it and see if you like it. And then I just add this into a nice ceramic baking dish. I don't oil the dish. I like to keep oil out of all my recipes. Sometimes I'll add a, a little bit of red pepper as well. Um, I didn't have any red pepper today, but it does look really pretty for like Christmas time if you add some half a red pepper as well. I didn't have that today, so I just stuck with the green pepper. There it is in the baking dish. You can see it. Now what I'm going to do, I'll put that in the oven at, at 350. I'll bake that until all the edges of this turn nice and brown and crispy. And, uh, and that'll be your, your stuffing for your Thanksgiving dinner. Now I'll bake that for about half an hour and then we'll come back and check on it. So uh, we'll stop there and we'll move on to our next dish. Hi everybody, now the next dish we're going to make for our Thanksgiving dinner is a sweet potato uh, latke or a sweet potato cake. It's similar to the white potato cake that we've made before in our recipe book, but we just substitute a sweet potato. As far as a sweet potato goes, I just use one large sweet potato. I microwave it for about 10 to 12 minutes, um, depending on how large it is. And, uh, and then I peel it, 
and it's ready to go. So I'll we'll put in the bowl the one little sweet potato. I usually add in about uh, three quarters to a cup of white beans, depending on uh, how much white bean I want in there. So I'll add in my white bean. And I'll add in one uh, chopped onion. And I'll mix these ingredients all together. Until I get a nice consistency. And I'll add in some breadcrumbs right into the actual mixture, just because it helps it set a little bit better when it bakes. So I'll add in about a quarter of the breadcrumbs. I have about a cup of breadcrumbs there. And then what I'll do is when I have the beans and the onions and everything mixed in with the sweet potato, I'll just form these little patties. And I'll dip them back into the breadcrumb mixture. So they're nice and coated. Almost looks like a fish cake or something when you're done. And I'll put it on a silk pad. I like to bake these on a silk pad. Because I've only used one potato, um, you know, if, if you need to make more of these, you have a big family, I would just double up on the ingredients. It's really easy to increase Add another potato and another onion or whatever. It's not, not a hard dish to expand on. This will usually uh, give me about four potato latkes. So um, here they are. Here's what they should look like. They'll get nice and brown and crispy. So uh, here's what they look like. And then I'll put these in the oven also at 350. I'll bake them on one side for 15 minutes, then I'll flip them over and bake them on the other side for 15 minutes. I just wanted to say um, with the breadcrumbs, we also add about a teaspoon of seasoning salt before we actually add the breadcrumbs. Um, uh, to the mixture, so there is some seasoning salt in there as well. Um, yeah, so there you go. We'll put these in the oven and bake them at 350. So the next dish we're gonna make for our Thanksgiving dinner is what I call my potato, I mean my turnip and carrot mash. And I walked five miles for this, uh, five kilometers for this turnip, so I'm happy to be cooking it finally today. Anyway, so what the recipe calls for is one large turnip. You, you cut that turnip into about one to one and a half inch cubes, four large carrots diced, as you can see the size here, and uh, you boil them until they are nice and soft. I mean, really nice and soft because you're going to want to blend them. And uh, it's a very simple recipe. It's one of my favorite recipes, but something about the combination of turnip with carrot is really, really sweet and tasty. So we'll go over here. I have my big mixing bowl. So um, when I boil these, just so you know, I add about an inch of water on top and I boil them until everything is soft. So I'll just add them into a big mixing bowl like this. It's really easy. This is a very simple recipe. To mix them, I'll use a, a, a cake because I find it's just a lot faster than trying to mash by hand. So here's what your dish should look like once all your carrots and your uh, turnips are mashed together. Uh, to spice this dish, I add in a little bit of sea salt. I usually add in about a teaspoon of sea salt and um, some ground pepper. This is about the consistency that you should expect to see. It's really flavorful, especially on a Thanksgiving dinner. So that's um, one of our third dishes. I just wanted to say, um, Will, Will's uh, chicken style gravy, which I have heating up here on this stove, you've seen that a lot. That, that recipe is available for you online. And we do also make our own homemade cranberry sauce. 
And if you buy most cranberries, at whole cranberries, if you buy them, most of the time you'll see on the back of the package, there's a simple cranberry recipe. So we like to make all our food from whole foods. So um, try that out as well. Uh, we have made some mashed potatoes earlier. So and we've seen that recipe too and a lot of Will's potatoes because if you haven't seen mashed potatoes, you haven't been watching Potatoes Strong. So when this is all done, I'm gonna put it together in a nice meal and I'm gonna show it to you. I mean, it's gonna be a wonderful dish and I love it. Talk to you soon. Hi everybody, we're back and all the stuff is ready and I just wanna show you the final um, meal here. Uh, this is what your meal should look like. You'll have some garlic mashed potatoes with Will's um, chicken style gravy. You'll have a potato bread stuffing, um, your sweet potato pancake, your turnip and carrot mash, and I always add in some peas for color and texture and stuff, and um, cranberry sauce. So there you go, a Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner for a vegan king. Speaking of high carb kings, I just wanted to give a nice shout out to High Carb Paul. He's a great guy. I want you guys to watch his videos. They're really funny. He's got some great cooking ideas. And I also wanted to apologize to uh, Violent Vegan because he won't be able to cycle with Paul today because I, I, he won't be able to cycle with Will today. He won't be cycling with the potato man. Sorry, man, because I still have him tied up in the living room. But anyway, just want to thank you guys and enjoy a nice, uh, hot, savory uh, Thanksgiving dinner. Take care, all. Bye from Potato Strong. Please click this button here, which will subscribe you to my channel so you'll get future videos from me. And... Please like and share this video as well with your friends and family. That'll help spread the healthy eating message with more and more people. And below, there's a video description that has all sorts of healthy links to my quick start guide and newsletter and other helpful information that'll help you in your plant-based eating journey. Thanks.